Give me chapstick. <laughs> Give me chapstick, don't crash. Put your... No, this is funny. <laughs> don't, she was just about to stop the video. No. Okay. I'm ready. And go. Hi guys, <laughs> back to the channel. I am Stephanie Peterson. <laughs> I, I'm a weightlifter, but I'm putting Tesla videos on my weightlifting YouTube. That's 100% makes sense. I've been waiting over about, I think five years now for my Tesla. I, I talk about it every day to my children. It's all I talk about. I just, I'm so excited. I just cleaned this car to go sell and make an extra $3,000. I'm driving it now. Oh, let me look across the road. <laughs> and so, yeah, my Tesla, I called these people. I was like, hey, where's my Tesla at? Well, actually, I don't really sound like this. I'm like, hi, where's my Tesla? And they go, well, your Tesla's, yeah, let me look right here. Oh, it's gonna come on the 17th. And you're gonna get your like VM number on the 17th. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, but then it's gonna come like two weeks later after that, so yeah. I, I suggest that you drive up to like South Carolina or whatever. <laughs> New Jersey. New oh. <laughs> New Jersey to go get your car. Okay. It's okay. From the Tesla place. Um it's just because you get your license plate and you're gonna drive a right back bang, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. They told me to go pick up in New Jersey instead of having it delivered to Maine because they don't have their license to sell in Maine. He said, it's an experience. I can obviously ask questions while I'm there, but good information for you guys to know is apparently it takes 50 miles. Uh, the first 50 miles it's driven on, it calibrates the car, something like that. Um, so I don't know, I guess if there was an issue, you're close by. Um, and also they will give you temporary plates to drive away with the car versus having it delivered. And then, I don't know, you have to fill out paperwork, send something in, and you could be days without plates to even be able to drive the thing. Go grab the puppy and hold her. Get her. I don't know how My son is putting up a fight right now. I don't know how I'm, I'm trying, trying to keep my angle together. But usually, um, if I was off YouTube, I would start screaming and stuff. Um, but I can't do that online because you can give me a little look through sunglasses. Yes, it's not serious. You open the zipper and you take the puppy out and hold it. Like okay, I can't even think. I gotta think. I gotta tell you about the conversation I had with this guy. There's more no. information and I've already forgotten it. Oh yeah, so he said I should get my VIN number by the 17th. Um, and I don't know how he has that information, but he also said with that, it's quite possible, or he didn't say quite possible. He said, if there are any delays, it's due to one specific thing that there's always like a thing. And currently the thing is, um, they have some sort of indicator or something they install in the Tesla that, um, if you were to go put gas in it at a gas station, it would tell you, um, that it's not a gas powered car, something like that. I don't know. I wasn't hundred percent listening, uh, but something about the indicator and I don't know the supply of it or getting those installed is delaying things. Um, so there's that. And then the other piece, um, I asked him about if I wanted to, um, finance any bit of the car. Cause I'm thinking about financing like a little bit instead of paying all cash for it, you know, to keep money in my pocket kind of thing. Um, and he said, don't touch your account. <laughs> and if I want to do that, I'll have the opportunity to do that when I get my VIN and to put that information in at that point in time. Um, also asked him a couple more questions. Um, one of those questions was if I'm going to get the charger, I guess there's a lot of information out there that now they're not delivering the chargers with the cars. And he said that does not apply to me that anybody that placed their order after April um, won't get the chargers. But because I technically placed my order way back in September, I may change into it in October, I'll be getting uh, the charger. He said, don't worry about that. Um, and then the last question I asked him was about insurance. Should I go through Tesla? I think Tesla has an insurance or did he have any recommendations as far as that goes? And he said, do not use Geico. I guess they kind of gouge the prices that Geico is not a good option and to try Progressive or Liberty Mutual. 
So my question to you guys is if um, you have a recommendation as far as insurance goes and also wondering what you pay for it because I heard it can be pretty hefty. Um, I've also heard out there, is it Sam's Club? I don't know, maybe, it, no, not Sam's. Um, what's that other place? See, we don't have one. It's another big box store like Costco. BJ's. Costco, yeah, Costco apparently does insurance and that's good rates. Um, so if you can let me know maybe actually what you pay or what region of the country you're in um, and what uh, Tesla car you have, that'd be great. I'm getting the Model Ys, you know. Um, so I'm kind of curious what I'm looking at as far as that goes. Alrighty, I think that's pretty much it for updates. Lissy, thanks for your humor. She's trying to pretend to be me. Obviously exaggerated, I'm not that crazy. She may beg to differ. <laughs> yeah. Larry, you look pretty cool in my shades. Yeah. See you later. Bye, people. <laughs>